But let's bring into the conversation Conservative commentator Esther Kraku from North London. Hello, Esther. Hi, Vanessa. So I hope you're well. You've been examining the, uh, the results of this census. What have you found that you've found interesting? Christians now I mean, a minority. Yeah, it's not shocking. Uh, I, that's the first thing. I wasn't surprised. I, I did see it coming. I was saying that I've been in the UK for the last 12 years and I, I, it's really changed ra ra radically. Um, and, but it is disheartening because I do, it, it just shows that, you know, there is no place or there is a less place for, for the Christian faith in, in public life, which is very weird for me because Britain is still a Christian country. And I feel like the, you know, even asserting that fact is what is very strange. People are scared of asserting that fact, but you know, they're more terrified of offending other people than actually stating the reality. But hang on, but hang on a minute. You keep talking about asserting that fact as if it is a fact, but if it actually, fact. well, hang on a minute. If Christians are in the minority now for the first time, and they are, can we still be said to be a Christian country? If Christians yeah, are in the minority, because, because, why, because why and how is this a Christian people, country? Huh? Because British law, British tradition, it's all based on the Christian faith. We're celebrating Christmas in four weeks. It's based on the Christian faith. British jurisprudence is based on, on the Christian faith. You know, you know, British life and our calendar, our lifestyle, all of it is based on the British faith. Um, but, you know, we don't we don't actually assert that fact because it's uncomfortable. You can shout, uh, you know, profanities about Jesus and the Christian faith in the streets of London and nothing will happen to you. If you try doing the same thing about the Prophet Muhammad, you might not go home with your face intact. I just got no idea who, I, Esther, I don't know who you're mixing with. I really don't. These people who want to no, shout. No, that's true. Profanities about the Christian faith. Who are these people? Are... No, but I'm I'm drawing a comparison. You can't say profanities about certain religious leaders in certain parts of the country, but you can about others, and that just shows that this country is is not no longer a Christian country, right? Because we we prioritize other faith and other religions over over the one that this country. Has All right. Well, let, let's take a deep breath. Let's take a deep breath and regroup because just a couple of minutes ago you said this is a Christian country. I said, are it you sure? Be. I said, are you sure? Given that now we know from this census that Christians are in a minority, is it still a Christian country? You were absolutely adamant. Of course it is. You said to me very robustly. Look at jurisprudence. You said is based on the Christian faith, and you talked about the fact that. We're all about to celebrate Christmas in a few weeks time. Then you just said this is not a Christian country. You said because people can defame and demean and, 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 and indeed insult the Christian faith in the streets should they so desire. So where are you with this? Is it or isn't it? Well, we are, we are a Christian country, but we don't want to assert that fact. That is the reason why you can defame certain religious f figures over others. This country, it's undoubtedly a Christian country. You go to any hotel and you see a Bible in, in the drawer next to your bed. It's, it's undoubtedly a Christian country, but we don't assert that fact, which is why we have this difference in the way we I treat... Don't know, I don't know what you mean by we, we don't assert it. People who are Christians worship mm -hmm. and go and, and, and in whichever way they wish to practice their religion, they practice their religion. So they either do go to church or they don't. They will or won't sing Christmas carols. They will or won't festoon their houses with holly and ivy. So they are... Christians, they're quietly going about their business being Christians. Lots of people have faith and it's a very personal matter and they commune with their God in a very private way or indeed in a public way and as part of a service. But they don't need to assert the fact that they're Christian. They it, are Christian. They don't need but, but they don't need to wear a, wear a badge or announce it, do they? What do you mean they don't assert it? Well, I'm talking about British identity and what it means to British national identity. So I'm talking about people at the top, for instance, being able to assert the fact that this is a Christian country and that people of different faiths within the country. I'm not just talking about the average person. I'm talking about the identity of what it means to be to be British but, and but, what this, this country is. But, but Esther, who or what is stopping anybody who wants to say that this is a Christian country? from saying so. It's precisely what King Charles said and made a particular point of saying when his mother passed away and when he acceded to the throne. He said, I am the defender of the faith, the Christian faith. People thought he might say, I am a defender of faiths. He didn't. He made a particular point I think, I think of saying the Christian faith. I beg your pardon? What? I think you're simplifying things and you're, you're describing, you're comparing apples and oranges. It's not, Prince, Prince Charles is not the only, uh, well, King Charles, pardon me, is not the only, you know, thing that makes Britain Christian, right? It's about the institutions, it's about our parliament, it's about the traditions, it's about the things that bond this country and, and unify but us. But I'm, I'm asking, I'm asking in, 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 in which respect, in which institutions, in which capacity is anybody who wishes to, as you say, assert the fact that they are Christian or they believe in this as a Christian country being prohibited or prevented or, or in any way stopped from doing so. 
it's not about preventing, it's about asserting. There's two different things. Being passive and being active about asserting the fact that Britain is a Christian country are two different things. So for instance, how we teach Christianity in schools, for instance, it's completely different to how it was 40 or 50 years ago. In what right? way? Passive, no, how is it passive, different? So, so for instance, I don't know many uh, secondary school kids that can say the Lord's Prayer, for instance, because they say, oh, they're people of different faiths and we wouldn't want to offend them. Right. And in, in, in typically Christian schools, you would be able to do that. How many people can even name three verses of the Bible? I'm, I mean, what I'm, makes, what I'm, makes this country a Christian country if none of the actual, you know, the things that identify people as Christians are common within the public? I mean, I mean, your, your, your thesis is, 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 is interesting. Let's let's take a call, see how you respond to the call, Esther. Uh, we've got James on the line, James in Sheffield. Hello, James. What would you like to say about this? Hi, Vanessa. Hello. So, yeah, I mean, uh, just following on from uh, quite a few points, really, what I've just heard uh, you discuss. Yes. Uh, I mean, uh, the first one, if you if you don't mind me discussing it, the, uh, the drop from 59% to 42% of Christians. Mm. Uh, has anyone bothered to take stock or look at the statistics, sorry, statistics of mm. the other religions, which one would assume would have increased with increased immigration? Yes, you ask if they bothered. Uh, of course they bothered. It's a census. That's the whole point of the census. So what do you want well, to know? Again, I'll tell you what it says. So it says, so it says um, those identifying as Muslim, for example, have gone up from 4.9% to 6.5%. Hindu, 1.5% to 1.7%. Is that the kind of thing that you mean? Well, exactly. I mean, you know, it's, uh, you know, discussing a certain percentage for, you know, one religion when you're not taking into account... But the they are, if I, as I've said, obviously taking into account all religions. That's the point of the census. It's to find out how the population has shifted, how belief has shifted, how faith has shifted, if it's shifted, and where is more diverse, where is less diverse, where is not diverse. That's the whole point. So I don't think you can criticise the census for not being interested in other religions or, to, or, or in finding and out.